good morning everyone welcome to today's lecture which is on soft tissue management and impression making techniques in fixed partial dentures at the end of this lecture you are expected to know the importance of gingival tissue displacement you should be able to explain the three ways to ensure access to prepared tooth structure for impression making you should be able to discuss the prerequisite to successful predictable impression making with elastomer and you should be able to describe different impression techniques for fixed processes objectives of fluid control and tissue management uh, the main objectives of uh, fluid control and tissue management are isolation of fluids from the oral cavity these fluids may include saliva gingival bleeding during tooth preparation sulfular fluid and water from the handpiece retraction and accessibility so the need and importance of displacement include patient related factors the task or technique being performed and operator related factors patient related factors it provides comfort and protects from swallowing or aspirating foreign bodies then and uh, when it comes to technique being performed dental materials are moisture sensitive and success of adhesion and physical properties relies on a dry field operator related factors include infection control to minimize aerosol production increased accessibility to operator site improves visibility of the working field less fogging of the dental mirror and prevents contamination need for removal of fluids varies and depends on the task that is being carried out so you will encounter large volumes of water and saliva which has to be removed during preparation of teeth and smaller volumes of fluid that has to be removed during cementation of the restoration and during impression making so what are the criteria for selection it should be there should be effective gingival displacement and hemostasis absence of irreversible damage to the gingiva and absence of untoward systemic effect methods of fluid control can be achieved by mechanical methods chemical methods and there are other methods which is also the mechanochemical methods mechanical methods include use of rubber dam use of suction devices like the high volume vacuum a saliva ejector or a sweat doctor and the use of cotton rolls talking about rubber dam it is used for co build up and uh, pattern fabrication impression making of inlays and onlays removal of old restoration if any and caries and for cementation purposes advantages of use of rubber dam uh, is that it it is used to isolate one or more teeth it helps in eliminating saliva from the operating site and retracts soft tissue disadvantages include that it is difficult to use while preparing tooth for fixed partial denture and in case of unusual tooth shapes or positions that cause inadequate clamp placement such as in partially erupted teeth or broken down teeth contraindications of rubber dam Uh, are in uh, during impression making uh, and it is not supposed to be used with uh, polyvinyl siloxane impression material or uh, addition silicone as it inhibits polymerization and it cannot be used in patients who are allergic to latex uh, coming to high volume vacuum uh, this is extremely useful during the preparation phase it is an excellent lip retractor while the operator uses a mirror to retract and protect protect the tongue not useful while making impressions or during cementation phases next is the saliva ejector this is used as an adjunct to high volume evacuation but can be used alone for the maxillary arch it is placed in the corner of the mouth opposite to the quadrant which is being operated on and the patient's head is turned towards it very effectively used in maxillary arch impressions and for cementation 
and can be used on the mandibular arch also. When it comes to the saliva ejector, you have reusable saliva ejectors and you have disposable saliva ejectors. Coming to sweatopters, these are used for isolation and evacuation of the mandibular teeth. The metal saliva ejector with an attached tongue deflector is excellent and is most effective when used with the patient in an upright position. Disadvantages of the sweatopter Access to the lingual surface of the mandibular teeth is limited and cannot be used in patients with mandibular tori and it may injure the soft tissues. Use of cotton roll isolation and cellulose wafers they are absorbents and provide moisture control with the saliva ejector. Isolation of maxillary teeth is done by placing the cotton roll on the facial vestibule or the buccal vestibule. Isolation of the mandibular teeth, uh, medium sized cotton in the labial vestibule or the buccal vestibule and a large one between the teeth and the tongue that is the lingual vestibule. Cellulose wafers is used for attraction and additional absorbency provides acceptable dryness for procedures like uh, cementation and during impression making absorbents are useful for short period of isolation alternatives when rubber dam application is impractical retracts cheek and provides absorbency the different types of absorbent devices are the dry tips and the reflective shields this is a picture of the dry tips and it uh, helps in keeping the parotid gland in check for 15 minutes absorbs more moisture compared to the cotton rolls coming to chemical methods of fluid control this can be done with the help of antisilabogs or with the help of local anesthetics this uh, helps in controlling the salivary flow. Uh, these are the common drugs used to control fluids in the oral cavity. These are the antisilagogues that can be used. This is a list of antisilagogues that can be used. Contraindication of uh, antisilagogues uh, are hypersensitivity to drugs, glaucoma, asthma, congestive heart failure, and obstructive condition of the gastrointestinal tracts or urinary tracts. Retraction of gingival tissue. This is done to obtain maximum exposure of finish line and to make a complete impression of the preparation including both the prepared and the unprepared surfaces. Importance of the finish line. The gingival tissue must be healthy and free of inflammation before cast restorations are fabricated. The finish line must be reproduced in the impression. The marginal fit is very important in preventing recurrent caries and gingival inflammation. Methods of gingival retraction include mechanical methods, chemical mechanical methods and surgical methods. Coming to use of copper bands as a mechanical method in gingival retraction. It is used to carry the impression as well as to displace the gingiva to expose the finish line. Technique of the copper band. The copper band is a welded tube corresponding to the size of the prepared tooth. One end of the tube is trimmed to follow the outline of the gingival finish line. After positioning and contouring the prepared tooth, it is filled with modeling compound and impression is made. Disadvantage of the copper band is that it causes injury to the gingival tissues. Copper band impression. Uh, here you have the picture of the copper band which acts as a means of carrying the impression material and as a mechanism of gingival retraction. In this picture you can see that the gingival margins are cut to adapt to the gingival contour. Now after positioning of this copper band, the prepared tooth is filled with modeling compound and the impression is made. 
coming to retraction cord. This is the pressure packing the retraction cord into the gingival sulcus. Gingival retraction cord is tapered in diameter and this is a part that can be wrapped several times about a tooth that causes flat gingival crevice. The plain cord provides mechanical retraction. Gingival retraction using chemically impregnated retraction cord is the mechanical chemical method of gingival displacement. Desirable properties of retraction cord include dark color which maximizes contrast with the tooth and tissue. The absorbent can take liquid medicament and should, is, and should be available in different diameters. Technique of using retraction cord the cord can be packed with a special instrument like the Fisher packing instrument or a DE plastic instrument. Coming to the procedure of gingival retraction, a 2 inch piece of retraction cord is cut off and the cord is twisted to make it as tight and as small as possible. loop of retraction cord is formed around the tooth and held taut with the thumb and the forefinger. Placement is started by pushing the cord into the sulcus on the mesial surface. It is also slightly tacked into the distal crevice to hold the cord in position while it is being placed. As the cord is placed subgingivally, the instrument must be pushed slightly toward the area already tucked into place. If the force of the instrument is directed away from the area previously packed, the already packed cord will be pulled out. Occasionally, it is necessary to hold the cord with one packing instrument while packing with the second. The instrument is slightly angled towards the roof to facilitate the sublingual placement of the cord. If the instrument is held parallel to the long axis of the tooth, the cord will be pushed against the wall of the gingival crevice and it will rebound. The excess cord is cut off from the mesial interproximal area. The placement of the distal end is finished until it overlaps the mesial. It is made sure that the force of the instrument is directed toward the cord previously packed to the distal portion in this case. So uh, this picture shows, shows you the placement of the cord in the sulcus. Picture A is the correct method of placement and picture B is the incorrect method of placement of the retraction cord. Chemical mechanical methods of gingival retraction. Here a chemical with the pressure packing in a retraction cord. The chemical usually use a vasoconstrictors or astringent. This helps in enlargement of the gingival sulcus as well as control of fluid seeping from the gingival sulcus. Chemicals used for gingival retraction include local vasoconstrictors which provide gingival shrinkage, 8% of racemic epinephrine, aluminium chloride, alum, aluminium sulfate and ferric sulfate. This slide uh, shows you the uh, drug that can be used for gingival retraction along with its advantages and disadvantages. Ideal requirements of chemicals used for gingival retraction cords include that it should produce effective gingival displacement and hemostasis, it should not produce any irreversible damage to the gingiva and it should not have any systemic side effects. Surgical methods of gingival retraction include gingitage and electrosurgery. Gingitage is done uh, by uh, rotary curettage. It is a troughing technique wherein a portion of the epithelium within the sulcus is removed to expose the finish line. It should be done only on the healthy gingival tissue. Criteria to be fulfilled for gingitage, there should be no bleeding on probing and the depth of the sulcus should be a minimum of 3 mm. Technique of gingitage. It is usually done simultaneously along with finish line preparation. A portion of the sulcular epithelium is removed using a torpedo diamond burr. To improve tactile sense, handpiece is run very slowly. 
abundant water should be sprayed during the procedure. A retraction pod is impregnated with aluminium chloride can be used to control bleeding. Disadvantages of gingitage the instrument has poor tactile sense, so this technique is very sensitive. It can potentially damage the periodontium. Coming to electrosurgical retraction of the gingiva, it is the surgical retraction of the circular epithelium using an electrode to produce gingival retraction. This procedure is called surgical diathermy. Indications include that areas of inflammation in gingival tissue where retraction cord cannot be used, gingival proliferation around the prepared finish line. Contraindications include patients with cardiac pacemakers and use of tropical anesthesia such as ethyl chloride and other inflammable aerosols should be avoided. This picture shows you a uh, uh, gingival sulcus enlargement, removal of the edentulous cuff and crown lengthening. Talking about lasers, uh, indication is controlled tissue removal before impression making and in cases where tissue contouring is required. Properties of laser depends on the wavelength and the waveform. The type of lasers are the neodymium yttrium aluminium garnet and the erbium yttrium aluminium garnet. Advantages of lasers, minimum pain and discomfort, less fear, anxiety and stress cost to the patient, there is minimum or no anesthesia which is required, no drill sounds, less chest, side time, reduced post-operative complications, minimum or no bleeding. Disadvantage, overuse causes shrinkage of tissue and also results in exposure of the crown margin. Coming to impressions and fixed partial denture. Impressions are a negative likeness or copy in reverse of the surface of an object and imprint of the teeth and adjacent structures for use in dentistry. This slide shows you the classification of impression materials wherein impression materials can be classified as elastic materials and non-elastic materials. Elastic materials can again be classified into synthetic elastomers and hydrocolloids. Impression techniques can be categorized as monophase or a single step or technique and a dual phase uh, using either one step or two step heavy putty or heavy body and a light body wash. Coming to monophase impression technique, uh, here you select or prepare a rigid tray of sufficient size to accommodate 2 to 3 mm thickness of impression material between the tooth and the impression tray. You brush a thin coat of VPS tray adhesive on the tray and allow to air dry for a minimum of 5 minutes. Using firm strokes of the dispenser, you fill in the entire adhesive coated tray with monophase impression material while keeping the tip immersed in the dispense material to avoid entrapping air. This means that the tip at any point of time should not be away from the impression material and should be in contact with the impression material till you finish loading your impression tray. The maximum tray filling time is 2 minutes for monophase impression material. For syringing around the prepared tooth, dispense monophase impression material into an intraoral syringe. Remove retraction cord and inject the monophase impression material around the clean, dry tooth preparation. Intraoral working time is 1 minute. Slowly seat the tray in the mouth. The tray must be seated within 1 minute of the start of oral syringing and within 2 minutes of the start of tray filling. The oral setting time is around 4 minutes. Remove the impression, rinse, dry and disinfect. The stone model can be poured after 30 minutes. To remove the tray, apply downward pressure along the periphery of the tray to break the seal of the impression and remove the impression from the mouth. Inspect the impression for evidence of defects or tears. 
thoroughly examine and explore the sulcus of the prepared tooth and surrounding dentition for any residual impression material remnants. Monophasic impression material are very stable and may pour and can be poured up to two days post polymerization. Coming to the dual phase of putty wash impression, there are essentially three ways of recording a putty wash impression. There is a one stage uh, impression where the putty and wash are recorded simultaneously. This is also called the twin mix or the laminate technique. The other technique is the two stage unspaced. The putty is recorded first and after setting re relined with a thin layer of wash. One stage impression. If you look at this picture, the prepared tooth has been isolated and uh, a retraction cord has been placed. Then the low viscosity impression material is injected around the prepared tooth and the adjacent teeth. Putty is loaded on the tray and is immediately placed intraorally and both the materials polymerize simultaneously. Two stage unspaced, putty is recorded first and after setting, relined with a thin layer of wash material. Disadvantages, additional time of having to wait for two materials to set, contamination of the putty with saliva which may prevent the light body adhering to it and difficulty in reseating the set putty impression inside the patient's mouth. Two stage spaced, as for the two stage unspaced except a space is created for the wash this space may be made by polythene spacer over the teeth prior to making the putty impression, recording the putty impression before tooth preparation or gauging away the putty and providing escape channels for the wash. This shows you the picture of a polythene spacer over the teeth prior to making the putty impression. This spacer is then removed and replaced by the light body impression material and placed inside the patient's mouth. The material is allowed to set and then the impression is removed after complete set of the light body impression material. Thank you.